All right, now we have already seen the brand new Home Up module, which has been introduced by Samsung. And this brand new app will be made available officially on the devices running on One UI 7 very, very soon. And we have already seen what exactly this plugin can do. And in this video, let's focus on the gesture settings, which enables us to customize the animations on your Galaxy phone. Let me just increase the brightness here. All right, now let me tap on gesture settings. Now this is where we have got the animation customization settings, but this doesn't mean we get to customize the system wide animations on the Galaxy phone. We will be able to customize only the gesture animations, which means when I swipe up here, you see that is called gesture to go back to your home screen. That animation we can change the way it transitions into the home screen, the wallpaper animation, and the icon opening and closing animation also can be customized and nothing else can be customized. We cannot customize the animations on the quick panel. We cannot do that on the notification panel. We cannot do that on the settings and rest of the menu options. So these are all standard that we have and only the home gesture animations and icon animations can be customized. Now the first option is home gesture animation tuning. Now this is where we have got these amazing options. The first one is classic. Let me quickly show you how it transitions into the home screen when I swipe up. You see, that's how it is. It's pretty simple. Let me open gallery. Let me show you this again. It's very simple and clean animation that we have. Now let's select elegance. Let's do this again. And we've got the smooth transition of the wallpaper and yet it is quick. So this is also pretty cool. Next one is dynamic. If you want a faster and more dynamic feel, I'll select this. It's even more faster. Pretty nice. And then we have got sweet. So this is the one which melts away like cotton candy, it says. <laughs> Let's do this. You see, it's very, very smooth right here. Let me open another application. You see, it's pretty smooth. Let me open clock, calendar. Very, very smooth right there. Now, apart from this, we have got this option called simple tuning. When I select simple tuning, we can make the animation faster or we can make it smoother. They say uh, it's emotional and fast. Let me select fast. You see, it's very quick. Let's bring it all the way down to emotional. The smoothest, I think this is the one uh, which is similar to sweet and the dynamic one is the one which is the fastest so we can select either of them here or you can set it somewhere in the middle in between like this like I don't want too slow like sweet option I just want it slightly faster than I can set it right here you see pretty cool isn't it now let me go back let's uh, select the advanced tuning. This is where Samsung has given us the complete control over the animation customization for the home gestures and the icons. Let me tap on detailed settings here. Now the first one is icon movement. Now here this is damping. We have got X horizontal and Y vertical options. And by default, it's right here. This has been differentiated with a blue and uh, you know light red color option. When I scroll all the way down, we also have an option to reset the whole thing. Just in case if you're confused with whatever you have done, whatever uh, customization that you have done, you can scroll all the way down to reset it to get back to normal. And then again, you start editing it because this is not easy to understand. It will take some time to get used to customizing these settings because every time you customize it, you have to go back and see how does it look because this demonstration is a little confusing it is not easy to understand you will only know it when you actually go back to the home screen and check out check it out now let me show you this damping i've got gallery when i go back this is how the animation looks now what i'll do is i will increase this horizontal bar all the way to the max and let's do this on y as well now let's see how it looks you see it is bouncing back to its original position. Now if I bring it back to the minimum, you see it just goes down here and gets back to its original position. So that's a pretty cool animation effect we have got. Uh, now I'm just showing you the minimum and maximum options. The lowest point and the highest point. 
you can set it anywhere in between depending on your requirement then we've got stiffness we've got horizontal and vertical stiffness let's maximize this you see it's very stiff it just get back as if you know there's some rubber band effect here you see and it's bouncing as well let me bring it all the way down here now it's very very smooth it is not stiff that's what it means right now let's go back now what we are going to do is we are going to change the friction higher the value the faster it stops let's increase it again it's very very difficult to figure out what exactly has changed here after this we have got icon scale again damping and stiffness it's just, it's something similar to what we saw earlier then we have got interpolator here let me tap on this now uh, this is how the original animation is and this is how it looks when you change this graph over here now, let me just do this let me bring all the way down here now you see this is the normal uh, animation and this is how the icon will get back to its original position it becomes narrow and then it gets back to its original position let me do that here let me show you this you see the icon is getting narrower and then it goes back here i hope you're able to see this i hope the camera is doing the justice to the naked eye it is very easy to figure out now if i change this let's say i will take it all the way to the top now this is going to be horizontal let's do this yep it is wider just observe when it gets back to this area here it gets a little wider and then it gets uh, gets back to its position that is how the applications are closing that is the animation customization we have for the icons that is the interpolator then we've got tracking position the higher the value the more it targets the bottom of the icon now let's try this now i will increase the value to the max now let's see how will the icon look this is how it is now what i'll do is i will bring it all the way down here let's see what is the tracking position here little difficult to figure this out let me do this again yeah it just goes down from here and if i reduce it it bounces a bit and it gets back to its position here now that is a minor a change in the a variation in the animation then again we have got the interpolator for this as well now this is interesting we got wallpaper scaling you can change the max scale of the wallpaper animation now this is how it looks let me just increase it here you see now when you go back home it is going to be like this now let me show you this you see that is how the animation on the uh, home screen wallpaper is looking like now let me reduce it oh, i think there is no animation here uh, when we bring it to 1.0 let's try this yes there is no animation on the wallpaper now i will increase it to max you'll be able to set it wherever you want then we have got duration as well now if i reduce it all the way to zero there is no animation here because there is no duration set if i increase it to the maximum it is going to be very slowly uh, transitioning into the uh, original position let me do this again you see when i go home it will slowly transition and gets back to its original frame and you will be able to customize this as well that is scaling then we have got a duration we saw then we have got interpolator for this as well and we have got blur option you can turn on blur when going home with gesture if you enable this you will be able to turn on the blur you see when i go home there is blur on the wallpaper and if you don't want that to happen you will be able to disable that if i disable this you see there is no blur on the wallpaper here and then we have got home screen 
you got scaling for this as well. Now this means that there is a scaling option for the home screen itself, not for the wallpaper. We already saw what we can do with the wallpaper. Similarly, we can play around with the icons and widgets as well. Now if I bring it all the way to the uh, minimum point, you see that is how your uh, you know widgets and uh, your icons would look. And if I bring it all the way to the max, you see it actually zooms out. We have got a different transition there. Pretty cool, isn't it? It's very, very smooth, looks fantastic. I think you guys are gonna love this. Let me do this again. I will reduce it to minimum. You see it pops up from the center. And if I change this to max, this is the kind of effect that you're gonna see. This is just crazy. I'm just loving this. Then we've got vertical move as well. If you select vertical move, you can get this effect. Let me set it to max. You see, that is the vertical move. The entire widget and icon page is moving from top to bottom. So that's another option that we have. Then we can set the duration here. If I set it to max, now you are gonna see very, very smooth transition. Look at this. It is just coming down vertically, which looks fantastic, guys. This is crazy. Look at this. The app goes back to its position immediately. You can change that transition as well. Now, since that is set to a little faster, only the uh, transition on the entire home page is slower. Now, let me do this again. Cool, isn't it? Oh my God, you are just gonna love this thing here. Now let me go back here. We've got interpolator for this as well. Now this is how we customize the home gesture animation tuning. And this is very, very advanced guys. I think you guys should check it out as soon as you get the update. Currently this is available on One UI 7 beta. I have installed the APK. It is not officially available yet. I think very soon we'll be getting the official update. And on the S25 Ultra, I do not have that uh, home up module at all. I'm sure a lot of you guys are confused why you don't have home up module on your S25 Ultra or some of your Galaxy uh, S24 series devices. If you're on beta, it is still not available. So be wary of that. That's all I want to share with you guys. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead, subscribe and give this video a like. If you find this video informative, you will get to learn a lot about your uh, devices. So go ahead, become a part of Apex community. And if you haven't downloaded our brand new wallpaper application, Wallverse yet, go ahead, download Wallverse. You're going to find amazing wallpapers there. The link is in the description. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.